Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. So, I would like to go over future plans for RimWorld and this channel. If you guys are not into RimWorld, after the couple videos that I have actually posted, then this definitely is not the video for you. But, if you are into it, or at least are interested in it, then keep watching. So, I have a bunch of ideas on what I want to make for videos for the future. Um, I've already done a test video. It's only going to be four parts. Uh, I really should have played the game a bit more before actually doing that video. But it did teach me some things that I probably would not have learned otherwise. So, that's at least good. So, with the future, I have, I think it's something in the number of about 15 different ideas. One of them uh, is going to be a prison slash labor camp uh, thing. In which... You will actually see, like, a small group of guards, you know, and they will actually, like, you know, have a small group of prisoners. And the video will be about them taking these prisoners, making them work, and selling the materials. And I'm not sure what the end goal is yet. Maybe they'll be, like, you know, making a certain amount of money or something like that. Because some of these will have end goals that are not normal for RimWorld. RimWorld's normal end goal is to build a spaceship and get off the planet. But if I keep doing that for every single one, maybe that will be a little boring. So some of them may be like, just like uh, get through a couple of years or one will be like make a certain amount of money, those things. So that's uh, the prison slash labor camp is one idea. Second idea is a trading town. I would actually, I think, probably build the trading town ahead of time. At least a little bit. Which, I may do the same with the prison. Maybe build a little bit ahead of time and then have the rest of it work as we progress. But, with the trading town, it's like, basically... I would have people come in and, like, buy the stuff from me. You know, some of these ideas may not be super, super, super fun for you to watch. Um, but some of them may be, and that's what the whole point of this is. Another one is to do a kind of basic one, mostly mod free, but having whoever wants to actually be in it, in it, like you can actually build your own character. And I think that would be an interesting kind of idea. Then I was thinking about doing a low tech one. Which just basically means, like, you know, they'd be dealing with bows and swords rather than guns. Um, then I was thinking about doing a Star Wars one. They actually do have the mod for it, so I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I was thinking about, uh, with the Star Wars one, I was thinking about doing one which you'll be, uh, will be part of the Republic. One that will be part of the Empire. And, like, the goals for those ones, like, for the Republic one, would literally be hunt down all the Empire towns and destroy all the Empire towns. And the Empire one would be, you know, the reverse. Then there would be a Magic one. Which, come on, it's Magic. Then there's going to be a Cult one, which we actually are going to, uh, which I want to do relatively soon. And it will be... Worshipping Cthulhu. Then after that, I'm going to do another occult one, which I just will pick one of the gods that... Uh, the other gods. Or deities, or demigods, or whatever the you want to classify them as. Then there's a vampires one, which is actually loosely based off of Vampires the Masquerade. So, I'm looking forward to that as well. Then I'm also thinking about doing a Vampires, a Magic, and a Star Wars one. All based off of 
like you guys making characters in it. So there's that. I'm also working on one right now in which I am a hired mercenary. And, you know, the per you crash land on the planet and you actually help out the people s with this problem they have. And after the problem is solved, you know, the, the series is over. I'm going to try doing that one a little bit more story-like. Where it's like a lot of jump cuts. It's a lot of like, you know, pre-planning and then, you know, it happens. And then he goes to like a town and you watch him like, you know, kill everyone. And then, you know, go from there. I'm not sure how it will work. I want to work out, but we'll see. I also want to try doing one with Tammy. Uh, me and her have talked about it. It's not going to be easy because Wormworld is only a single player game. But there is um, a lot of ability to make your pawns just stick with a certain zone and, you know, kind of do stuff like that. So me and Tammy were thinking about doing it where, like, I had four pawns, she had four pawns, we divide ourselves up by a river, for example, in the middle of the town, and she's on the one side of the river, I'm on the other side, and basically, whatever materials she has is her zone. Whatever materials I have is my zone. And going from there. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's, a, it's lots of little ideas. Uh, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions or comments or stuff that you're looking forward to, comment below. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy RimWorld and uh, see you guys in the videos.